Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking notes with Mr. Jankowski. Uh, we're on page 85 today. And um, before I start, I wanted to give a shout out. I've been meaning to do this. I want to give a shout out to a student in my fifth grade math class, Caleb Ludwig. I've been meaning to give him a shout out recently, and I haven't yet. He's doing a great job taking notes every time we meet, doing well in quizzes, turning in assignments. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you very much. If you're interested in a shout out in one of these videos, send me an email. Let me know why you need a shout out, and we'll see what we can do. Anyway, we're on page 85, and I wanted to zoom in here and talk about what we're doing on this page. It says at the top, this is lesson 12.1, we're going to be naming points on the coordinate plane. Now, if you watch the video uh, on page 84, some of this will be a little bit of review. But this will also be on the quiz this week. And uh, a lot of this vocabulary will be on the quiz, so I want you to pay close attention. I'm going to zoom out, actually, because I need to be able to see the coordinate grid a little bit better. There we go. And it says at the top, the directions say, graph the ordered pair 5, negative 2, and label the coordinate plane using the vocabulary words below. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph ordered pair 5, negative 2. Now, to do that, the x coordinate and the y coordinate in a an ordered pair looks like that. So x goes first, that's 5 for the x coordinate and negative 2 for the y coordinate. So this is the x axis. I'm going to find 5 on the x axis. There it is. And I'm going to find negative 2 on the y axis, which is right there. Now where these points converge, where they meet is where we place the point 5, negative 2. Put a comma there. Perfect. Okay. Now let's take a look at some of the vocabulary. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. There we go. And in our word bank, we have a bunch of different vocabulary words. Let's start off with axis or axes. So we have two axes here. We have the y axis and the x axis. And uh, I'll turn put the x axis in green. So the horizontal line is the x axis. The vertical line is the y axis. Okay, so I'm going to just put here, let's see, draw an arrow, draw an arrow. These are the axes. Okay, now the x axis we have here, this is the x axis. This is the horizontal line that goes through the coordinate grid. We also have the y axis up top. Okay, so we did axes, x-axis, y-axis, next is origin. Now the origin is the very center of your coordinate grid. This is the origin. Now the origin also has an ordered pair of 0, 0. Right in the middle is the origin. Now the quadrants, we've talked about this before uh, last page, but I'm just gonna label this again. Quadrants, we've got quadrant one. These are always Roman numerals. We've got quadrant two over here. Let me fix that. Quadrant two over here is quadrant three. And then finally over here, quadrant four. All right, so those are the four quadrants. 
An ordered pair. Well, this is an ordered pair. This is an ordered pair. It consists of an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So I could rewrite this as X coordinate. And the Y coordinate. So in this example, we have 5, negative 2. That's our x coordinate and our y coordinate. So this is the entire word bank complete. All the words are labeled below. I highly recommend that you write all of this down for the uh, quiz today, because you will see uh, questions on the quiz that cover all of these vocabulary words. So thank you for watching notes again today. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.